Welcome to the Afrocentric Woman, where our mission is to inspire Black women to heal core wounds and embrace a luxurious and abundant lifestyle. Thank you for joining me. Let's talk, sis. Hello, lovelies. I hope that you're doing well. I wanted to come to you today to talk about the phrase, I deserve, and you can insert whatever um, whatever you want after that. I deserve X, Y, Z. I deserve to be treated like this. I deserve to have this. I deserve to be able to go here. I deserve to have this type of date or whatever. I have two things I want to share about that. The first is, if you have to tell a man or anybody else, but specifically a man that you're interested in dating or you're dating, and you have to tell him what you deserve, I'm here to tell you nine times out of ten, that's not the, that's not the right situation for you. Nine times out of ten, that is not the right situation for you. Because... Um, when you express, when a man wants to be with you and he cherishes you and you are what he's trying to, you know, have in his life, whatever you want, what that's within his means, he's going to get it for you or he's going to do it for you. And if he doesn't have it or isn't able to do, he's not going to tell you, no, he's nine times out of 10 going to tell you, I can't do that right now, or I need to figure that out. I have to get back to you or something like that, but he's not going to just say no you know now that is a man who's just tolerating you in his life you're just around you're just taking up space you're convenient you're available there's you know something about you maybe he doesn't want the whole thing but he just wants a little piece of something here and there he doesn't have any he doesn't mind telling you no or he ain't going to do nothing or he's not going to try to come up to what you're trying to do because he's he's okay with you going it's not going to be that difficult for him to just let you go so he's just going to be like no that's just not what you know and it's not negative it's not a it's not a slight against you don't take everything so personal goodness gracious read this book called the four agreements it's really 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 good book and they have a whole section in there about not taking things personal i should do a whole nother video on books that have been transformational in my life but that book and a lot of the concepts and philosophies in that book have been very um, informative for my self-development. But that's a very important concept in life to take is don't take things personal because somebody tells you no, it doesn't mean anything is wrong with you or that you don't deserve what it is that you want. It doesn't mean that. It just means no. It's just not, it's not going to work. It's not compatible. That's not your guy. That's not your man. If you want to go to a steakhouse and he's like, no, and that's something that's important to you, then that's not your dude. Just move on. You know, don't have to sit up there and tell him, I deserve to be taken out to a steakhouse. Like, maybe you do. But And this is the other part I want to get to. The other part is, you're really talking to yourself. When you start saying, I deserve this and I deserve that, you're trying to convince yourself. You're really talking to you. You're really talking to yourself because if you truly believe that, you wouldn't even be wasting your time trying to explain to someone what you deserve. If you really believe that, you would get up and you would move on to a situation that's going to be conducive for you. You would get up and use your two feet and go where the love is. Go where whatever it is that you're looking for. Go there. And whenever it's not being served anymore, get up and walk away from the table. Simple as that. So you're really convincing yourself. You're trying to convince yourself. You're trying to convince someone. It's a listen to my video when I'm talking about why do people call into abusive live streams to be abused online because they want to try to convince someone that they're deserving and worthy, you know, and this is not usually a conscious thing. It's usually a subconscious thing. It's usually something that's under the surface, this under the surface desire to play out and and sort of reenact proving to someone that you deserve something or proving to someone that you are worthy and so I'm coming to you because you know there are some young ladies that um, maybe share some messages or some conversation with men that they are interested in dating or trying to date or you know maybe they're just meeting and, con and, and communicating for the first time and they're even trying to set up their first date. And they're sitting up here telling a guy, 
I deserve this and I deserve to be treated like a queen and I deserve the best in life and it's like sis if that were true which it is I mean but if you really were walking in that energy you wouldn't spend five seconds explaining that to someone you wouldn't you wouldn't spend five seconds explaining that to anybody you would just simply hey this is this is my desire these are my requirements these are my standards this is how I would like to be treated and if someone's like no Uh uh-uh ain't doing it I'm not the one then you just say okay well enjoy your life have a nice day and you just move on you don't sit there and engage in a conversation trying to tell them what they deserve side note (laughs) side note um this hasn't happened to me in a while but uh this happened uh I was talking to this guy the other day first time we had a conversation we had a conversation we just had one conversation and um he was like well tell me something about you that would really wow me and it would really like intrigue me and I was just like I'm not doing that (laughs) I'm not doing that I'm not about to read off my resume um I, I just don't do that I don't I'm not trying to wow you I'm not trying to impress you the only thing that I'm trying to do is to just exist and be me and that's it so I just I just simply said I don't do that and I moved on to something else in the conversation. He laughed. He thought it was cute or whatever. Um, he said, oh, okay. You know, and he just had to, he just had to adjust that he was talking to a different kind of woman. You know, I'm not a woman who, I don't care how many master degrees you have and how wealthy you are. And I'm not trying out <laughs> to be on your team, bro. You know, I'm not, I'm not about to do nothing, you know, to convince you that I am amazing. Either listen, I am amazing either you get it or you don't okay if you get the the grand opportunity to be in my presence if you get the immense opportunity to be in my presence then you will pick up on the awesomeness or you do or you won't you you won't you know either you will or you won't and if you do then good for you you get to experience amazingness and if you don't sad for you you don't get to experience this particular brand of amazingness but you can go out there and find whatever is amazing to you I don't you know it's also the art of detachment I'm not attached to any outcome about anything I try not to be I try not to be you know that is definitely my intention is to have a level of detachment and in in a level of living in the present moment that doesn't you know doesn't make the stakes too high on any particular interaction especially something new and fresh and a new connection and a new dating situation you know I don't want to make the odd uh, make it so intense to where it's like it has to work out and this guy has to see and he has to do this like no it's, it's the art of non-attachment and that is the beauty of free will that is the beauty of free will and and knowing that you don't have to do anything and that when you do something you're doing it because that's what you want to do when you're with someone that's because who, that's who you want to be with there you don't you're not doing things out of obligation oh well you know I went out you know I went out with him one time and he spent a lot of money on me so therefore I have to do this and so I gotta do you don't have to do nothing I wouldn't recommend you do anything that you don't want to do and you have to oh, that and that but you know the the dangers of that or the the other side of it the flip side of it is that means that you have to own your stuff when you're intentional about what you do that means you own it so you you don't so you don't waste time like that you can't say oh, I wasted this time or he wasted my time if you do what you want to do and you be where you want to be and you you know are intentional about your actions you don't waste time because everything that you did was with, with with a purpose. So you're not aimlessly wandering around life and just giving your time or spending your time with whoever, you know, whoever just shows up. No. Being intentional. So um, keep in mind about that whole I deserve this and this and that. Be mindful. You know, if. If you find yourself saying that, you know, you might want to take a pause for the cause. If you find yourself saying that to multiple men, I deserve this and I deserve that. You have to ask yourself, why, why am I being put in a position 
Why am I putting myself in a position where I have to explain to someone what I deserve? What is it that I think I deserve and where can I go and find it? How can I get it for myself? How can I interact with people who have this thing or these experiences that I want? And let me go there. You know, just food for thought. Do you have a scarcity idea that if you walk away from that guy that you're not going to be able to find another one? So your hands are clenched? You know, is that the issue? Or, or is there something is there something on the underlying surface uh, of why you're feeling that you need to convince someone that you are deserving and that you're worthy of something? What is it? You know, you really got to dig down and and be introspective within yourself and find that out. Because I'm seeing it a lot, especially with girls in their 20s. Pardon me, young women. Especially with young women in their 20s, which is why I'm really reveling in my 30s. I'm reveling. I love it. Like, I love it. (laughs) I wish I knew. I wish I knew more in my 20s. But hey, if I can help one in your 20s if I can help you with the cliff notes and help you kind of like try to fast track and make less mistakes I'm here for it I'd love to help you avoid mistakes but that's a huge um something it's something to look out for if you find yourself saying that because I I see it all the time and I want to do a whole other video on aggressive femininity because some of y'all oh lord (laughs) Some of y'all be real rough with y'all femininity, okay? Y'all be real rough with y'all femininity. Well, I need a dude to do this, and I, I, don't, I don't just accept any of them. I'm like, okay, girl, well, goodness gracious, that's an interesting brand of femininity that you got going on there. And I understand it's a trial and error because a lot of times, you know, you may have been, you know, raised in a somewhat of a toxic and, and hostile environment. So, you know trying to embrace your femininity is a journey and um you know you do make some trial you you do make trial and errors along the way as you find something that is going to work for you something that is going to flow for you but yeah that's that's something that um i see a lot with the young ladies so definitely drop down in the comments let me know what you think have you found yourself having to tell men what you deserve Uh, Did you ever get it from that particular person that you felt like you needed to explain it to? And do you think, um, has anything like popped up for you as far as under the surface as to why you are in a situation where you feel like you're not being treated or offered experiences that you deserve and why you're still there explaining it as opposed to walking away and going to go find exactly what it is that you want and creating those opportunities for yourself. I look forward to hearing your comments. Peace. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with the Afrocentric Woman. Special gratitude to our subscribers. If you'd like to stay connected with this channel, and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you like this content, please hit the like button. If you have any comments or thoughts about the content shared, please drop down into the comment section and let us know. Remember, you are worthy, you are enough, you are unique, and you are lovable. And I appreciate you.